Hello and welcome to Tabletop Oddity. My name is Jay and this video doesn't have that much content in it. It's a very brief video hopefully where I'm just going to let you know that essentially FFG are going to be hosting a panel at Adepticon on Thursday the 28th of March which is next week or this week depending on when you see this I guess and um, they have specifically mentioned that there will be stuff for Star Wars Legion, X-Wing and Armada. So being legion and x-wing orientated on this channel at the moment then that is obviously some interest so we'll have a quick look at that and then we'll talk about what actually might come out or what um is probably going to get announced at least in in my opinion what we're likely to see so just for those of you who didn't know didn't notice this um on I, can't, it was, I think it was like last week whenever it was february 15th they released this article which was talking about this promo um x-wing ship Oh, fine. No qualms with that, whatever. Well, that's I actually do have a bit of a qualm with that. I don't necessarily think you should have a promo at a specific event because nobody can get, not everybody can get there. But anyway, uh, this year FFG will be hosting its own panel uh, covering Star Wars Legion, X-Wing and Armada. It's 1pm Thursday, March 28th. And I think that's, I think it's not Eastern, it's the one over because it's Chicago, Illinois, is it? It's something like that. Um, And it's... um. So it's, I think that's six hours from the UK time. So that one o'clock should be seven o'clock UK time, which is perfect for me. I'm really, really happy with that as a time. And I'm just letting you know that there's probably going to be some big-ish news there. Um, I thought they might have waited until May before they do anything serious uh, in terms of like Clone Wars, because they generally have their own event, only like the hyperspace or something like that. But uh, maybe they're not maybe that's not the plan maybe they're going to release all the stuff here or announce the stuff here um, so it depends on how big they're going um, in this announcement it could be very minor and we might not get anything but it does let me talk about the general release strategy so where are we now Jin Erso and the Pathfinders have just come out in February in March we are getting Krennic and the Death Troopers and after that we'll probably get the tanks in April and then what? Well, Bosk and Sabine, Bosk and Sabine, yes, would be May. And then there's some very, 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 very strong rumours, as in it was on um, a podcast that one of the developers mentioned they were co they were playtesting six new six units of six type of this unit. Well, you can only really have six car troopers, so car troopers are on the agenda and i did a video about that so uh, if that's car troopers then that would cover um, june and july and then we would get our third a lot of people are talking about um, tauntauns because um they're on one of the promo cards so that would then cover august so we've got we pretty not officially announced but i can very much see the path to august and then what do we get in September? September has been the time that I have been talking about for quite a while, being when the Clone Wars might actually come out. And now, I, the longer it gets left, the less likely that is. Um, but everything, we, the rumours are only up until that point. <laughs> That's all we believe, or all that we sort of know to that point. So I can't, I can't look past the fact that this Adepticon thing could be the Clone Wars. Now, it might not be. What they might do is just announce the car troopers and then the Tontons or Tonton, Tontons, Tontons, whatever it is. They might just announce that and be done because we're due that anyway. Um, so they, that might be their Adepticon announce and everybody like, yeah, great, cool. Um, which would make sense. But beyond that, I, I've always said I thought you might get um, a like. What do they call it? like a limited release at Gen Con of the Clone Wars for a full release in September? A little bit like what they did with X Wing 2.0. And um, yeah, so I, it, it could be the Clone Wars. I, we might get another set of releases, or they might st stop doing one every month. They might tone it down a little bit. Um, I sort of hope they don't tone it down a little bit and that we'd still get one every month. Uh, but I very much hope that this is Clone Wars. And if it is Clone Wars, then, the, the, you know, the possibilities are much faster. Like, I would suspect we'll have Kenobi and um, Grievous and all that kind of stuff all announced. The droids, the support ones, and uh, yeah, that would be exciting. I did make a video about what actually that could be, and I'll try and put a card up there if I remember. I never remember, but if you just search the channel, it'll be there. And, um, yeah, so I all... 
I think like, everything's pointing towards it. The fact that they've actually said they're going to re- announce something for the Legion sort of points towards towards it a little bit, maybe. At least I think so. Now, if they don't release, if they don't announce the Cold Wars, maybe they're just going to do Core and the uh, support units, whatever they end up being. Um, when would we get a further indication of the Cold Wars coming at like um, Gen Con? They do their own event, or at least they did in May last year, uh, which is where they announced X Wing 2.0. I don't know if they would do a big event to just announce um, the Clone Wars for Legion, or at least just to show it off. Um, and I think Worlds is in June or July. Um, I say Worlds, I've got a bit of a problem with it being Worlds. Considering you can only get a ticket if you live in North America, it seems a little bit janky to call it Worlds. I almost want to call it Nationals. <laughs> However, all the players are actually going to be pretty decent. But um, yeah, I just, I just, it's basically a very quick video just to say, look, this is... There is some announcement coming on Thursday. Uh, it's probably well, the minimum we'll I, we'll see will be core and something I think, um, and I think the maximum we'll see will be some pictures or models or talk about a core set for the Clone Wars. The very a, a bit of me is starting to think they might do a second edition of this game very quickly uh, with the core set of the Clone Wars because I think. I very much would like them to go to an app like they have done with X-Wing. And a bit of me thinks that if you're going to do a new core set, you could do it then. And you wouldn't necessarily need a conversion kit if you just said, you keep your old cards, but we're going to put the points on an app. Like, I would love it. I would love it. Don't think that's going to happen, but, you know, I would love it. I, it's very unlikely. Very unlikely. Don't get your hopes. I know I've been correct on a few things, but the second edition is not going to happen. I'm pretty convinced about that. At least not yet. But a bit of me just would be like that. Anyway, don't like this video. I just wanted to let you know there's an there's this is a video about an announcement that's coming. So don't like don't don't do anything interesting. Do subscribe though if you're not already subscribed, and have a most beautiful day.